yourself in a situation where you're handcuffed with zip ties. I got two heavy duty zip ties here, cleaning out the garage, found these. Thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to escape. Never know when you're gonna need this. It sounds counterintuitive. The first thing you wanna do is actually tighten these with your teeth as much as you can. So if you're gonna do that, I'm tightening these as much as I can. All right, now the next step is simple. You wanna raise your hands above your shoulders um, and then you wanna gain momentum. Strike down, try to hit right on your hip bone and you wanna do it all in a forceful, quick motion. So raise above, it's pretty easy. All right, so this is probably one of the best kept secrets for solving the Rubik's Cube. I almost considered not sharing this with you guys because it kind of takes the fun out of it, but I figured, I don't know, maybe you could use it to like get a date or impress your friends or something. So anyways, uh, here goes. You can solve any Rubik's Cube starting in any position using just two moves, and you're just gonna repeat these moves over and over again. You're gonna turn the left side counterclockwise, and then you're gonna turn the top clockwise, so it looks like this. And you're just gonna keep on repeating this sequence over and over again and eventually the cube will start to sort of solve itself. You just keep going. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others. How to get literally any item you want for free from Amazon. Step one, go to Amazon and look up whatever item it is that you want. Step two, say for example you typed in headphones, but this can apply to anything. What you want to do is look up the items that have like almost no reviews. For example, this one has 1,200, so you don't want to click on this. Go to the ones like this one that only have 31 reviews. Step three, for example, I clicked on these headphones that have the 31 reviews that I showed you guys earlier. Go down under the buy now button and find where it says sold by and click on the seller's name. Step four, after you click on the seller's name, go to ask a question. Step four, after you did that, go to the question box over here and ask them for a free sample in return for a review. Since they don't have that many reviews, they're more likely to give you a free sample in return for this because it'll boost them higher on Amazon itself. Share this with someone that wants free stuff from Amazon. How to own a rental property for $0. So I bought this property in Petersburg, Virginia. I bought it for $78,000. This property is a quadplex, so it has four units. And I had to put 25% down, so I paid $20,000 down payment to get this property. So after I bought it for $78,000, I put about $12,000 fixing it up by putting in new windows, painting the outside, painting the inside, and doing a bunch of small other things on the inside as well. So after I fixed it up, I went back to the bank and asked for a new loan based on the new value of the property. Now keep in mind, I have a total investment of $90,000 into this property, $78,000 purchase price plus $12,000 in repairs. An appraiser then went out to the property and took some pictures and figured out the value of the property. So then the new appraisal came back at a value of $126,000. 75% of $126,000 is $94,500. So of that $94,500, $57,000 was applied to the old loan. Therefore, the bank gave me a check for $34,000 directly in my bank account. And that's how you buy properties with $0 using the Burr strategy. Okay, show me what you're doing. Go. Uh-huh. Go. Simply all you need is just always take 10 seconds and tell you. Okay. There you go. Shut the front door. <laughs> These are epic, but the last one is a secret squirrel pro tip that could save your life. First aid in a pinch. You can put sugar inside of wounds to prevent bacterial infections. This is backed by science and was the most popular wound care remedy for centuries. Cotton is a great fire starter, but burns too quickly. By covering cotton balls with Vaseline, you get a strong, steady flame that continues to burn. Grab a few, put them in Ziploc bags, and be able to use whenever you need them. I personally use this one so much during the Army Special Forces selection. Duct tape is huge in preventing blisters or calluses on your feet. If you ever feel that someone in your rear view mirror is following you, Make four consecutive turns. That should lose the tail. If not, call the police or just drive straight to the police department. Guys, you will not believe it. If you have an Alexa speaker, you need to try out this new cheat code I just found out about. All right? So in order to activate it, what you need to do is read this Alexa cheat code. And basically what you have to say is, Alexa, 
up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. And just wait. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Amazing job. What the you heck? You secured all the power-ups. What the hell? This time it says something different before it says something else. Let me show you how to make five, 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars from Craigslist. So here's what you do. You want to jump on Craigslist and hit the real estate for sale. Then you want to hit up for sale by owner. All right. Here's what we do. Okay. You don't want to hit mobile home. You want to do stick built. You don't want to do apartment or complex. You don't want to do commercial. And uh, sometimes the agent will put uh, their listing in here. You don't want that. You want to deal with the one that is like the property owner. Okay. Remember, you want to look for a property that looks a little distressed. I found this one right here. So I'm going to click uh, Check this out. Need to sell fast. Look at it. 2018 sold for 206 and they're asking right now for 129 yeah, hi there. My name is Kong. I work with a couple of investors in the area, and I saw one of your ad on uh, Craigslist here that you're selling your property at war for $129,000. Uh, we're interested in it. I want to uh, ask you a few questions and make you an offer on it. Is this a good time? Listen, the key here is getting the property locked up in a contract because that contract gives us equitable interest where we can now assign the contract over to another buyer for a profit. Human body life hacks that I know are true because... I saw it on Reddit. When you do pull-ups, try to imagine yourself pulling your elbows down and not pulling your body up. This is a mental trick that makes them feel just a little bit easier. If you ever wake up in the middle of the night, keep one eye closed as you turn on the light so your eyes can be attuned to night vision. This can make getting around at night a whole lot easier. If you eat about four cups of ice a day, you can actually burn an extra 160 calories and up to a pound a month, assuming everything else stays the same. If you ever have a stuffed up nostril, you should lay on the side that is opposite of the nostril that is stuffed. So if your left nostril is stuffed, lay on the right side and so forth. Believe it or not, this will actually help clear up that stuffed nostril. Squeezing your left thumb into your palm can actually help cut off your gag reflex. Try it. If you have to pee but your body won't let you, take your finger and put in your belly button and wiggle it around a little bit. This will actually give you the sensation to pee. Here's another life hack for anybody who cares. You open this, you take out this, you remove this, you gotta wet your fingers a little bit, and then you, uh, you throw it behind there. Psychological tricks you can use on people right now. When you want something, make a larger request first and then scale it down to what you actually want. Let me give you an example. Say you have to go move your car, but your keys are just so far away and you just don't feel like moving. So really, all you have to do is if there's a homie in the room with you, ask him, hey, bro, you want to move my car for me? Inevitably, he's probably going to say no. When then you scale it down, you're like, all right, fine, fine. Can you at least get my keys for me? And then they're way more likely to go get your keys for you and bring them to you as opposed to if you just ask them to get your keys for you because it's way smaller than the original quest you gave them. And there's a chance they might say yes to the first thing too. Speak quickly to people. Talking fast actually tends to overwhelm people and this can get them to do what you want. If you want a favor done by someone, make sure to ask them when they're getting tired. This is because physically and mentally their energy levels are getting depleted and they're much more likely to just do whatever you're asking instead of putting up a fight. Scientists have proven that it's crazy that you're still not following me on Instagram or on here after I give you all these hacks. Hey guys, I'm going to show you a little trick with the tape measure that you probably didn't know. Almost every tape measure shows you the distance from here to here. This one is three and a quarter inches. So when you're measuring from wall to wall, instead of trying to bend the tape and guess at the measurement, you can take the tape, you butt it up against the wall. We got 23 and a quarter. So we add our three and a quarter, we got 26 and a half and it's an exact measurement. Okay, so I hope I'm not like the only human on the planet to not know this, but a while back my dad came over and was watching me do laundry, and if you use this kind of soap that dispenses down into this little cup, you know, it's really convenient, but it sucks when you pour it out because all the stuff gets stuck on the inside. My dad, <laughs> my dad said to me, you know, you can just throw the whole cup in there. I'm like, what do you mean? I always pour it all in there. And he's like, no, just throw the whole cup in the washer, and then it washes itself. <laughs>